Today, we want to continue along in the book of 1 Samuel and see how the people of Israel had some superstitious ideas about the Ark of the Covenant. Our verse today is 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 3, which reads like this. And when the people had come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord defeated us today before the Philistines? Let us bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord from Shiloh to us, that when it comes among us, it may save us from the hand of the Philistines. The, the Philistines were long the enemies of the people of Israel. And in the beginning of 1 Samuel chapter 4, they had just defeated the Israelites in battle, and 4,000 Israelis were left dead on the field of battle. It was a disaster, and the people of Israel had to do something dramatic, or they might perish as an independent people. They could not survive many more battles that left 4,000 dead. Therefore, they decided to do something unusual, to bring the Ark of the Covenant into battle. They said this, Let us bring the Ark of the Covenant. It may save us from the hand of our enemies. The elders of Israel, after the disastrous battle with the Philistines, decided that the next battle could be won if they took the Ark of the Covenant with their soldiers. The Ark of the Covenant was the representation of the throne of God in Israel. It was kept in the most holy place of the Tabernacle of Meeting, and the people never saw it. Only the high priest entered and saw the Ark of the Covenant, and that was only once a year. The elders wanted to take this representation of the throne of God out of the Holy of Holies, cover it, and bring it into battle with them. They hoped that it would give them confidence that God was really with them. Now, the Ark had gone into battle before. The ark went in front of the marchers around the city of Jericho. That's in Joshua chapter 6. Moses told the priests to lead the ark into battle against the Midianites. That's in Numbers chapter 31. Later, Saul brought the ark into battle. That's in 1 Samuel chapter 14, as did David in 2 Samuel chapter 11. Yet notice how the elders of Israel regarded the Ark of the Covenant. They said this, and that's in the verse that I opened up with, that it may save us. The elders rightly sensed that they needed God's help to win the battle, but they were wrong in the way that they sought help. Instead of humbly repenting and seeking God, they turned to methods that God never approved. They only cared if it worked, and they believed that the presence of the ark would make God work for them. Now, no doubt, it seemed to them at the time like a brilliant suggestion. They were probably pleased that they arrived at such a great solution. You see, but to phrase it like this, that it may save us from the hand of our enemies, that was to regard the Ark of the Covenant as the ultimate good luck charm. And they believed that they could not lose if they held that good luck charm with them. They looked to the Ark of the Covenant to save them. They didn't look to the Lord to save them. Now, there are many people today who, when they really need help from God, will look to all kinds of techniques and technologies and superstitions, but they'll never do what they really need to do. They won't come back to God in humility and in repentance. Trusting in techniques and technologies and superstitions, it never ends well. Hey, today... Put your trust in the Lord.